Hey everyone and welcome to Almost Cancelled, I'm Peter, that is Connor and we are going to talk about Travellers Season 3 Episode 10, it is called Protocol Omega. So full spoilers for the episode and indeed the full season at this point, this is the season finale uh, and we can dive in. I will say I'm going, to, I'm going to somewhat ban conversation about a certain thing until we get to the end. Which thing? Which is neat because it is the ending of the episode. I just I think it's very tempting <laughs> to immediately start theorizing <laughs> about the ending. Okay, that's fine. So I'm just I'm putting a bad on it until we get through the rest of yeah. the episode as uh, it were. Okay. John I think is very funny given mm-hmm. our, our last conversation. About predicting things? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and one of the things we were we were saying is it would be really neat if they, you know, if they had to go on their own, you know, no director, you know, all of these mm. things. We were, I remember distinctly saying, well, hang on, let's theorize about this next episode. Let's see what Protocol Omega is first. Yeah, and it it almost was that. It, I mean, it should have been that until things changed again, but it was going in that direction. That's we actually, what it was, yeah. yeah. Um, also, I very distinctly remember theorizing that, hey, Joe would be genius if we put the evil villain and say Jeff because we already hate him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And obviously, we were very suspicious of Jeff in the we were, last Yeah, episode. we were very suspicious. So so that didn't come out of nowhere. It made sense. Uh, and Marcy kind of saw it coming by the time we, we got there. By the time you know, she was in danger, she, 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 she got it. He was being very monologue uh, Which is perfect because we had the fake out with uh, the other dude. Um, I loved that the FBI used a kid, like an actor, to pretend to be a, a messenger. That cracked me up. Yeah, that was Because so, obviously, you know, as, as we're seeing it, you know, and and our team, they're like, well, this isn't from the director. What's 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 going on here? And part of me thought maybe maybe it was like maybe the whole point was okay. All the traveler teams, you're standing down, but I'm going to ask this one team for a super secret mission. Like I've got a plan. You know, it may have been going that way. Okay. And uh, but obviously you figure it out as he like you know guesses it's Yates and the FBI. And I just love that as they're walking away, he's like, so uh, who was the kid? <laughs> it's like ah, it was so and so's daughter. She wants to be an actress. Uh, ah, she was good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It really made me laugh. I just, I, I want, I want this scene of them explaining to her what her part is, like what, what the role is she's doing here. Yeah, yeah. You're going up to these random people in a van, and you're going to tell them where to go. I don't know. It just it strikes me as really funny. Um, so obviously, the start of the episode is the devastating aftermath of what happened with David. And we, we start with this scene of them all eating dinner and being happy, and it really sunk in what we were seeing here, is that this is Philip seeing a version of the timeline where things were happy and where he did not yeah. die, which led to just several really cruel scenes in this episode where... The life in, that could have been. Yeah, when he's in David's apartment with Marcy there, and the, the, hell, even before we get to that, the fact that he runs there because he's worried what Marcy's going to do, and I knew when he ran to the bathroom... That okay, he's been seeing a lot of things that aren't there right now. It's getting worse. I don't trust this, and it very quickly, obviously, you know. I love the the, the little trick where you could hear the hair dryer in the background, mm. which was like to me, it's like no, 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 it's fine. Yeah, like that's the, that's the reality seeping through in the background. But he's sitting in there and he's looking around, and we're seeing you know Marcy and David having dinner, him injuring himself, trying to cook, um, you know, and then the pregnancy test, and. I have to admit, one of the most touching moments of the episode, and even the last episode combined, might be Philip like shedding a tear when he sees that moment. It's like, it's just because yeah. it's obviously he knows David, he cares about Marcy, but like the he, the fact that it's affecting him that much when he sees that moment, and like the idea of all these possibilities and all the things that he's seeing. Because uh, I love the effect when he goes outside and he's he's just it's almost like the uh, all the posters where it's just all the, the whizzing by people and. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very much the it's it's a time lapse effect just yeah. sped up even but, more than usual. But he's walking about normally, you know. It's it's, yeah. it's almost like in the flash when he's walking about, it's normal, but he's slowed down, so everyone else is still. This is the opposite. Everyone else is yeah. zooming around, but he's just kind of like, whoa. Um, and I really like that. Uh, it, it oddly reminded me of some of his first scenes uh, back in the pilot. Yeah, when he was oh, when he was walk- high. Yeah, yeah, when he was first walking around in the city, it reminded yeah. me. Of, it, it felt like it was calling back to that. Um, so I really like that stuff with with him. Um, and I actually was thinking, I actually started theorizing when he was looking around that that apartment and he was seeing these things, and then he goes to Max's apartment uh, not long after, and I was like, I feel like we're setting up a way to fix everything. 
and I got that feeling. So this, this is going to sell the, the craziest thing I've ever said. There was the gut punch of Marcy killing herself, right? Obviously, we have to talk about that because Jeff 001 takes her. He's going to use her reset to try and like, get a backdoor into the director, which obviously is heartbreaking because the, the first thing I was thinking about is he's just, he's going to take David from her. Like, all those memories, they're all going and to be gone. that's what she's worried about. Yeah. Um, and he, he wants this. And then she, you know, she fights back, she grabs the gun, and I'm like... And as soon as she gets that gun, you know exactly yeah. what's about to happen. And she goes through with it. And obviously there's a split second where I'm like, holy shit, this is the most devastating pair of back-to-back -back episodes I've watched of any show in a goddamn long time. But then, a second later, there was this feeling of comfort. Because, and this is a very meta thing, but I immediately thought to myself, after, you know, after, after the initial, like, two seconds of shock, I went, wait a minute, this is going too far. We're going to fix all this. Yeah. That was my thought. That was my thought process. After that, now they could have went really dark and not fixed any of this. Sure, I, I could buy it. But this was so dark. To lose Marcy specifically right after David was so devastating that I said, no, this is not sticking. We are fixing this somehow. Well, I'm not sure it's entirely fixed. Well, no, it's not entirely it's, it's fixed to a point. Yeah, sure. But we're, we're not talking about that yet. No, no, I'm just not. saying, as soon as that happened, I went, I think they're going to set something up here. They're, they're going to, whatever the, the the final moment of this, this season is going to be, it's going to be... Because, I mean, the whole thing, we've, I know we've had all these rules, but we've been dealing with, dealing with time travel this entire time. And given that we now have an act of almost working director in present day, you know, all this technology, you know, Zero Zero One's built the, the, the you know, the, the mind... You know, transfer tr transfer machine and all that we've got all this stuff in present day and even when we hear from grace who's been obviously tied up at this point because the, the bad guys are there uh we hear that no no a lot of the technology and the the programming to do a lot of what the director does that's what was going to beamed into elsa from the future right yeah he's essentially been repackaging himself in present day in a, in a weird way and i was like okay this opens doors and I love the theorization when we get to this point where the, the team, except from Carly, because they get the missile warning that the you know the city might blow up, and Carly goes to see her son, um, which feels very in character for her. As much as it's kind of weird, she's missing for the the, the final. It is, but you know, Protocol Omega was you know, just go do what you want. It right? was, yeah. yeah. So she's like, well, screw it. I've got no responsibility. But to this yeah, because we're not even mentioned really. Protocol Omega is we're giving up in the mission. Everyone who's in the twenty first, just live out your lives. Yes, for this timeline at least. Make the best of it, yeah. And so, so this was this was really fascinating stuff. And it's they, you know, they come up with the, the the rule. Of course, is that you know we can't go further back than anyone has last went. And Angry says, "Well, yeah, from the future, that's true, but this is the first time I've had this technology in the twenty first. Things yeah. change." I'm not sure I quite buy this logic that they explain it with, but. I'm gonna just go with it, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, just go with it. I mean, the logic in the first place was made up, so... Right, right, yeah. but this here, all of, you know, at the end of the three seasons going, well, we're closer to it, so we can go back further, it's fine. When before it never felt like a matter of how far can we go back. It was always a case of, no, 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 you could go back as far as you wanted with that first one. It's just, you can't go back further than that once you've done it. Right? Here's, here's my thinking though is that this 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 new version of the, the technology predates all of that it predates that like if we think of the directors existing outside of time with this technology that you know because we've always talked about how the future's moving in parallel with present day right where they you know as much as it's yeah. changing because we're, what they're changing in the present day the future's always moving forward and they can never go further back and yeah. For me, at least in a simplistic way, it kind of makes sense in my head that if we somehow get that technology before they started travelling back at all, that we can kind of reset all that. Because we're on a new cycle, we're on a new device, we're on a new everything. Sure. Like I said, I mean, I don't really buy it, but I'm just going to go with it. Yeah, I have a problem with this. Um, because I immediately got excited at the possibility of someone going back. And... Well, this is the thing. I got a problem with it, but I don't care. Yeah, because... Because I like the implications more than I yeah, do the problem. The possibilities here, like, as soon as they said that, I was like, wait, someone's going to go back and fix it. And I thought they were going to go back a few days, like, just before David died, and we'll just go from there. But then, then he's like, no. And do you know what I love? I love how the cat engagement thing 
worked on its own, but it just became doubly important. It became in this scene. relevant in a, yeah. in a way that it wasn't before. Because before it was a character moment, now it's relevant to a plot. And not only that, I never, th- I never dreamed that they were going to give me a satisfying conclusion to how how Mac would kind of make up for what he's done to her. And you know what's can- really interesting about that yeah. as well for me is he could have, he didn't have to walk away. He yeah. could have stayed with her, and then he would be the only Mac that she ever knew. There would be nothing disingenuous about it at all. Their entire relationship would be. Yeah, completely out, genuine. Outside of him just knowing about everything first, um, it would, it would it would be more genuine to her for sure. But he yeah. made the conscious choice that that was wrong, and he said, "No, no, no, I owe it to her not to deceive her in any way." Right, and 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 one of the thing is, I, I if he'd gone, no, 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 I'm gonna go and you know I'll, I'll stay with her because you know the, you know at least then, you know, he can still get all the years that she was meant to have with him, right? Mm. I wouldn't have gone, oh, you're making a bad choice here. I wouldn't have gone, oh, this is creepy. Because, no, you, you, that would be the only version she'd ever know. It would be, she'd, she'd be going, she'd yeah, be no, I, love with him, not this other other person. I wouldn't have blamed him for it. It would have made sense. I think yeah. he made the more noble choice, though. Yeah, definitely. Him making this choice made me, like, sort of, not that he needed redeem per se, but he needed redeem as far as Cat was concerned, and I think this did that. It was like, no, I'm giving her her own version of her life that doesn't include yeah. me in it. I think it was interesting coming after when when Philip was in their apartment, seeing you know them with the with the baby. Yeah, it's like okay, so there was a possibility that we could have gone down that path still. Yeah, um, and you know, and instead he made this choice, and I, I think, I think the fact that he didn't need to make this choice that he had an easy out. Mm. Is actually what makes us like him more for it. Yeah, and I I really appreciate that. Um, I mean, obviously we had to just kind of pretend that we're like nearly twenty years younger. There's not there's not get much getting around that. We don't have the Marvel de aging technology to to make it. I'm glad they didn't try it. Yeah, yeah. They they just you know they didn't go in for too many close ups. They kept it. No, it's the same thing that we see in like a Better Call Saul. Yeah. Just like no, no, no just do what you can. Yeah. Just just tell us this is the the case. Don't try and really just overdo it because it'll look worse. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, obviously, they give her longer hair. They can put some makeup on her to kind of make it work a bit better. I feel like Mac, being a guy with really short hair, <laughs> is just, it's almost impossible to do anything with him. He'd suffer a bit, didn't he? Yeah. Like He's like, I mean, yeah. you look the same age. I mean, she, that she looked as young as they were trying he, to make me think she he was. He had but... a youthful spirit. <laughs> Yeah, but no, I really like that scene, and I I thought it, it really worked. And you know, they're, they're making the choice here because because they obviously they even question the morality of this. They say, "Hey, okay," because Trevor's kind of being the judge here. He's kind of like, "Okay, if we can do this, blah, blah." But I've got one more complaint, and Max says, "Yeah, I'll be ending his life seventeen years early." I realized that, but you know, and that's when I I realized what he was going to do with Cat when he said, "You know, the following line was, but I can give those years back to someone else at least." Yeah, uh, and I was like, "Okay," and. It's like, yeah, he's making a bit of a moral loop because he's ending his life a bit sooner, but is it worth it it's, for... It's something that we've known was coming for a long time, the idea of, okay, do we yeah. have to sacrifice some people for the good of... So, you know, it's 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 kind of the factions morality. Yeah, because um, one of the things that we've also not talked about, yeah, we've talked about the emotion, what it's meant for the characters, but the stakes at this point are that 001 has planted his consciousness within the data so that in the future, he's in control. He's essentially become the director for lack of a yeah. better term. Which is beautifully ironic. Yeah. And he overwrites the world leaders. We see people. And I love that they set up that um, Max in a place that's di- hidden from the future because the FBI wanted to hide themselves from the director. Yeah. So it sets up that he's actually safe in there. And he's on comms with, you know, the leader of China. Because they, they're all blaming America because all the nukes originated in the US. And as, you know, the, 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 the chief points out, it's kind of suspicious that the one that didn't go off <laughs> Is the one that's on US yeah, soil. I, mean, I know. I know. You know. Typically, we, we view China and Russia as as the villains. But I don't really blame them on this. Oh, one. No, I don't. I don't blame them at all. Um, and even because he said even the Allies are starting to because uh, you know obviously Australia and and London being the other places. I think the bombs went off. Yeah. Uh, or London was at least. I don't know London it, definitely. Yeah. I don't Am know. I just making up Australia? I think I'm just. Throwing, I, maybe I'm just imagining Australia got nuked, and I'm just wishful thinking. <laughs> I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Uh, although I'm just saying, Australia, if you want to evacuate, if all the humans want to evacuate so we can get rid of all those stupid spiders and snakes, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> right? Evacuate the humans. 
I mean, so- some of them. Sorry, kangaroos. You're nice and all, but you're not worth it for all the other shit that comes with Australia. <laughs> Too too many poisonous things. And just even the plants, the plant, the, the poisonous plants you get and fungus you get in Australia off the off the chain. Anyway, so stakes are high. They know that everything's basically done. They're expecting the city to probably blow up because they're getting this warning. Yeah, nukes are incoming. And it's like, okay, what do we do? And it's like, okay, this is our last shot because because Max basically this is the end. It's Philip who has the idea. He's like, no, wait, we have all this tech, and I love that they theorized that. Did the director intend for us to get come up with this plan? Because is this why he made sure all this, all, all the all the information that was being back in Elsa? Did he do this so they could do this? Yeah, I think that's wonderful. It's, it's wonderful that the director just didn't tell them that. That he, you know, is that why he never saved David? Because they're going to have to reset. If I, if, I, if I'm engaging Pro- Protocol Omega, it's because I'm intending for them to reset everything anyway. It could be. Um, is he thinking that far ahead? Uh. Or it, I should say it, not he. But you know, like really interesting stuff. Um, yeah, and I, I did get to see Marcy beat up Jeff a little bit, although it was kind of meaningless in a way because the Jeff that got David killed doesn't actually exist anymore. He's been overwritten. Um, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fairly certain Jeff became zero zero one. Uh, when they, you know, before they found him in the wall, not before. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I think the Jeff who took him to the... Yes. To the, the archivist was... Or brought was, the archivist to him and then was, went to the was archive. Traveller Jeff. Yeah, it was Traveller Jeff, not... Uh, mm, okay, yeah. Zero, zero one Jeff. Yeah. Uh, someone can wants to correct me and explain why maybe that isn't the case, but they had him uh, captured after the you know that stuff, so why they would did, they do yeah. that if he was already I, zero, I was just one. thinking through the timeline yeah. in my head, but yeah, I, I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah, timelines. That's what we have to think about on this show. Um, so no, I, I I loved all that stuff. Um, because because your heart was kind of breaking. I think when Marcy's like calling for help and Phillips like you know in a trance because he's he's merging with timelines. Uh, we have you know, um, Carly's like got her music and she hears a little bit of it. We know Max got his comms turned off because the FBI have made him, and then you know Trevor's. Oh wait, yeah. pause. Car- Carly's just beating up the neighbours. Yeah, Carly's beating up neighbours. Yeah, she's getting her frustrations out. Um, and so here's the thing. So, so the end of the episode, Matt goes back to 2001, uh, and we know it's before 001 because we know he arrived in 911, right? We yes, even revisit he, the world. He's back in in August, I think it was. Yeah, uh, to begin with, and he drops off uh, an envelope about the asteroid, Helios. Um, yeah, because that was the that was the the scientist who yeah from a couple of episodes ago, right? Yeah, the one the one of the, the two scientists who were working on the yeah the energy. I was like, hey, she'll figure this out if, if I yeah. give her some warning. And he goes to the office that zero zero one was in at the start of season two uh, on nine eleven, and you know sends a message saying the traveler program will fail. Do not send zero zero one. Which I have a little bit of a a plot hole quibble here. Okay. The whole thing when Zero Zero One came back was that his computer wasn't working, and he went into the IT guy instead. Right. Yes. So why does the computer work now? Um, is it earlier in the day? It can't be because it's like it's half eight in the morning because he keeps checking his watch. Um. I'd have to go back and watch that scene to dispute this. I, I can't remember the scene well enough to actually tell you. Because I, I distinctly remember the, the IT guy having to fix it, and that's why he, he he couldn't send his message, because the IT guy hadn't finished fixing the computer when he beamed in. Because um, he couldn't send his message to the director. I'd have to go back and watch the scene. I can't, I can't, I can't argue okay, any of this. Fair enough. I, I, I cannot remember the scene well enough to argue any of this. Um, okay. Or agree with you. Um but people, because people who fell in, people go back and watch that first that first episode yeah. of last season, um, and and watch and look for the for, look for clues here. Um, if it's a mistake, I'll live with it. <laughs> but sure, yeah. Um, timelines changed. <laughs> he's, <laughs> sure. He's already affected things by handing that envelope off and not being with Cat. Things have well, changed. Well, could have done. Who knows? It's rippled. The computer's working because of that. Um, I'll have to go back it. and watch it again. I feel like there's probably a detail here that makes this really easy to explain. 
but I, I can't just yeah. I can't do it though without going back and watching it. Yeah. So, um, and he sends this message, and then Max kind of. And then was it just me or was Mac thinking that the plane was running late? No, I don't. That's not what I got at all. Because no. the plane was due in about fifteen minutes. Because right, okay. half eight. I think what it was is he was he was deciding whether he was should stay, stay. in the building or yeah. go. Because he's. I think he's looking, going. I've got time to go if I go now. But is it better for him to just end this year? That's um, what I was thinking. He was he was making the call on, and obviously yeah. we don't see what he decides. Not really. Yeah, which leaves leaves us off as a cliffhanger. Obviously, it's not the final thing we see, but it leaves us off as a cliffhanger as if as does Max survive. Uh, and then the final thing we see, and it reminded me back of 17 minutes. 17 minutes, of course, we kept cutting back to the director's own like programming, if you will, deciding to send more travelers back. Yes. And this was the same thing. It said traveler uh, program at or version one. Version one yeah. failed. Initiating version two, you know, green light. And I, I was like, oh, because I think. There's a lot of interesting things about this for me. One, if this ends up being the finale of the show, it kind of works. because it does. Because it's like, oh, well, they didn't fix it, but that doesn't mean we should stop trying. It's, it's a never-ending battle. They just keep trying to be better, and maybe one day we'll get it, right? That is, it's hopeful enough. However, if it's not the end, what the hell is next season? Do we even get the same cast back? Like, I don't know. If the tra even, even if those same travelers, and even if we do get the same cast, do we get the same travelers in those bodies? Even if... I, I'm going to dispute... Well, two things. I don't think we can have the same cast. Not entirely. And a key part of that is Marcy. She won't die now, that's right. Um, yeah, because without 001 to you know give her brain damage, the director can't take her. Yeah, unless she's going to die in another way. But she was only working at that library because of her condition. Yeah, so it'd have to be... Com I, I'd, it'd feel fairly coincidental and just, okay, we want an excuse to keep her around, which I guess I'm okay with because she's great. I, yeah, I would suggest that we keep her around, just not as the traveller. That's okay. I'm Potentially. Okay because uh, that was the thing that was a really bittersweet thing we got that one scene they gave us that scene which i think we needed which was the the, the scene where the original marcy who's not brain damaged meets david and they head it off yeah this is a really conflicting scene for me is because okay it's nice but that's not it's not the marcy we know it's not the marcy that, that david yeah, well, you know, that, fell in love with that's why it's bittersweet because it shows that they have this chemistry and because uh, there's been a lot of over the course of this show about how those echoes of the real person in there right yeah. And that maybe part of what David was attracted to was part of who, you know, and it's not that that wasn't real, it didn't make it, made it any less real, it's just that Marcy as a traveller had some of those qualities in there, so that's why there would be an attraction anyway. Yeah. Uh, you know, regardless. Um, but it was a really sweet scene, obviously they've got great chemistry, and this was them kind of just sort of awkwardly introducing each other, and, you know, because it ends with them saying their names to each other. And... It makes me think, like, we could lose them now and it wouldn't be as depressing because now they've got a slightly happier ending, even though it's not our Marcy, which is the one thing that makes it feel a bit off. Yeah. Do you do the reversal by meaning that some something goes wrong and David's the one that died now and and we, we put a traveller in him? I don't know. Because uh, this is the thing, even if we keep the cast, do we have the same travellers in the bodies? And does that mean we lose some of the... Th Unless... Now, here's the, here's what justifies all this, if we do get the same travels and the same bodies. The director does it intentionally, because it's it's vital to what version 2 is. Because I've got some theories here. Since version 1 failed, is version 2 the one where some of the moral rules go away, because version 1 didn't succeed? Which moral rules? Because the, the, the idea of the director choosing to take different lives i don't i don't think that's possible because mm -hmm. you know it's been ingrained over and over and over again that no no, no the whole the, the director its core programming is that it cannot take a life just because it's on a different version of the of, of the of the the, the the traveler program shouldn't mean that it can change its core rules i get your thinking if they told me that this was like on version two that goes out the window i would not dispute it all right fair enough i wouldn't dispute that i wouldn't annoy me if they did that but that's just that's okay let's stick with that and say that no that's still in play you can't just take lives willy-nilly yeah. 
I still think that he will, at the very least, again, I'm saying he, uh, I still think the director, at the very least, will make sure the same team ends up together, whether or not it's the same bodies they end up in. Um, maybe because they prove useful, maybe because they prove to be one of the better teams, or, or, or whatever. Um, but I feel like the director will try and, like, whatever we get that feels coincidental will be part of the director's plan. And I don't even necessarily think it will feel cheap, because it makes sense that the director, having analysed the performance of everyone that he sent back, would make choices based on that yeah uh, see uh, so in terms of where it goes i can see options of like you know okay well we need to cut out all the personal ties you know if protocol five is maybe part of the problem yeah. well i mean that's i think that's the main thing that i would say is that the rules have to be different in version two otherwise yeah. what is it other than just trying different things and yeah the i i would suggest getting rid of protocol five is a key thing which is kind of shit for the the character drama a little bit, and it would it would force them to come up with different ways to to do that. But in the idea that, well, no, no, these people should have died. Keeping them alive and just continuing their lives how you think they would might actually cause changes. You know, it might actually affect the timeline more than they realize. Yeah, I think we've said that once or twice this season, actually. Yeah. So I think if you drop that entirely and go, no, no, no focus just on the missions, forget families and you know schools. Yeah, um, yeah. Do the protocols almost completely change? Um, what other rules might change? Because, because I just I have to imagine that if there's going to be a version two, it's like okay, this first one failed. Why beyond just picking the wrong missions, which you know is thought about repeatedly, what what rules have to change to maybe give a different outcome? Um, yeah. And yeah, because one of the things obviously we talked a lot about how this season was about consequence. And Yates at one point says, "You guys coming back here didn't fix anything. You actually sped it up." Yeah. Because, you know, you coming back here actually led to the faction existing, which led to everything that's happening right now. This is all consequence. So, I actually kind of like that they found a way to do a hard reset of, like, no, no, everything wipes it now, and we're back to, you know, and don't get me wrong, I, I think to some extent, I, I'm hoping, I don't know if it, it can do this, right? But unless we get a new cast with new travellers, and it's kind of a refresh and a, and a kind of weird reboot kind of way, uh, which is which would be fine if that's what they want to do. If that's if that's what their plans always were, um, with maybe just one person that actually secretly being one of the travelers we knew from before, but you know looks different kind of thing. Um, like, c can the director like let them maintain like what they know in some way? Can it do that? Is that possible? I feel like the obvious answer to me is no. I can't figure out a way how. Because as far as, the, the, you know, when they're being sent back now, that never happened. Oh, no, absolutely, they didn't. So the, there is nothing for them to remember as far as those people are concerned. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just wondering if there's a way to get around that. Because my, my one concern is if we bring the same cast back and there may be the same characters, but none of them except Mac remembers a damn thing, is that going to be frustrating dramatically because this is a Marcy who I, or you know or whoever the replacement is <laughs> if it's not in Marcy's body like who doesn't remember David again who it's, it's a Carly doesn't remember anything all, all the relationships that they've had I, with each other what I, I could see as a potential thing happening and I don't know if I like this or if it would frustrate the hell out of me is you essentially redo season one at least at the start of it right you you open with the same almost co same couple of episodes and be I, like but with these key differences. I feel, I feel like episode one should be that. Episode one should be like a, almost a remake of, you know, season four episode one should be, almost be a remake of the pilot, but with the key differences, like you say, that, that they want to establish that this, no, this is how the, the game has changed. Yeah. Um, almost to the point where, you know how season, even the, even the pilot itself, it had that thing where it was, it was Agent McLaren like tr tracking down these potential criminals and then the twist at the end was that he was going to be the final traveller, right? That was how we yeah. ended that episode. I almost wonder if it goes very similar for most of the episode, but the ending completely sh changes. Well, what I think would be interesting is obviously this time Mac would already be a traveler, so he'd be going around going, "Okay, these are where they should be. These are who my team are yeah, gonna yeah, be." Yeah. And then it's it's different people entirely. Assuming he's still alive. Assuming that, yeah. Because if Eric McCormick wanted out of the show, this would be a great way to have him leave. And and maybe he does, because he's, he's a busy man. He's got Will and Grace going yeah. on. I he, mean, is a, he is a producer on this show, though, so I mean, he's also he got is, incentive yeah. to want to stick around and yeah. you know, see it through. But um, it could be. I mean, this is, this is you could easily write out any of the actors right now and come back with a fresh slate if you wanted to. Could, I don't yeah. necessarily want them to, 
I'd be I'd be interested to see what they do with that. But at the yeah. same time, I'm like I like all these cast members. I I like these characters, and there is a worry that it'll be frustrating that none of them could remember anything. And I wonder again if the way kind of around that in a weird is it Philip? Is it Philip having these visions of alternate timelines? Like where are we almost getting glimpses of something that we're going to see in future seasons now that everything's reset? Uh maybe. Yeah, it could be. Um, and you know, because. With stuff like that, where he's seen all, all, multiple timelines, it starts to bring in the possibility that eventually, much like the director existing outside of time, that there'll be things that can carry over despite the fact that the established rules don't yeah. al- allow for carryover, that there is some kind of extra variable That's possible. that exists beyond our understanding that... You know they they do this often enough that they start like having flashbacks to previous timelines or something like that. I'm not I don't know. I'm just I'm spitballing, but yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm with you. It's possible. So... I think it's just it's just interesting. There's so many possibilities that I do really hope we get a season four to explore some of this. Oh yeah, I have I'm nothing not, else. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm not mad if we don't. I'll, I'll be sad that we're not getting any more because it's such yeah, a yeah. well show. Don't be wrong, but it it felt like you know the the folks in charge thought. Do you know what? There's a chance this is the last season. Yeah, maybe. And the, the, so they left it on a point where, if this is the end, it works. It works. It's not the super happy ending that I think we'd we'd like to have, but it. But it's, it's ultimately hopeful. hopeful. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's hopeful that the entire thing was worth something because, you know, Mac and the others. Mac's obviously the one who enacts it, but they learned something. They they learned that this didn't work, and yeah. that that is allowing for a second chance. Yeah. I do hope Netflix renews it. As do, obviously, I saw the lie. Um, and, you know, I guess a lot of Twitter activity. Um, so hopefully... And I, I have to imagine this is much cheaper than a lot of the other big shows that they spend a ton of advertising well, on. Well, yeah, of course, this, you know, this is, for all intents and purposes, a network TV show, right? You know, uh, I don't feel like the budget drastically changed this season. No, no not at all. The, the only way the budget felt like it changed was that there's two less episodes to pay for. Other than that, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> felt the same. that doesn't even feel like Netflix doing a cost cutting thing. That's just Netflix saying, "No, no, no, our thing is ten episodes." Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Um, oh. and to be fair, all those nukes going off uh, look quite good, actually. They did. So, I mean, yeah. okay, maybe they spent a little bit extra on the the effects here or there. Yeah, but it wasn't consistent throughout the whole season. Of oh no, we need a significantly higher budget. Mostly, it felt on par. So it's funny. I saw some reactions on Twitter like a week ago talking about um this th- because they obviously had watched ahead of us and they said oh dad season three finale is where it jumped the shark and so i'm watching this episode going okay what what do they all hate <laughs> that that I, I i'm either going to agree with or disagree yeah, with yeah I, I understand exactly what they hate yeah they hate the reset yeah and i can i can understand that i can uh i can see why why it's frustrating to be like no no no, no you know this this I... none of this happens but that's the thing, though. It, it it's so baked into what the show is—the idea of going back and trying again. It is for the most part. I think I can understand why the idea of a total reset could be a jump too far for people. The because it's always been we can try again to a point, right? It's like well, we yeah. can't go much further back. It's like to a point we can try again. Whereas this is no, no. But f- for me, a show that has been. Th- this show for me more than anything else has been about playing with the ideas and the rules that they've established and then if they're going to break them justify why they break them and okay what new possibilities is breaking them do at this point and i feel like to me if we're going to do like a sort of reset sort of thing where we're back in a new version of season one then what do we do with that um if i was to put money on it i would say that the cast will all be back and i would say that. that Maybe some won't be travellers that they were before. Maybe some will be. Uh, maybe they'll... Because, I mean, what if, what if the idea of does destiny exist? And is, is it at play? Like, does that come into it in some way? Mm. You know, what what if, you know, Marcy somehow does still end up in a near-death and situation? I or, think... I say near-death. Yeah, we, we talked a lot about, you know, the themes of this season being yeah. consequences. If predestination is the theme of the next season, that would really tie into, okay, can we even fix the future? Yeah, can, can, is it possible? Uh, is it about trying again? Um, so you know, I'm 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 curious to see where they go with that. And I, I think because because one of the things actually, I saw uh, a comment saying, you know, why couldn't the director just send the 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 the, the superior nanites to save David? And um, as if it was a plot hole. And I, did, I was like, that's not a plot hole. That 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 is a cat. That was a choice that the director no, no, made. It could have done. Yeah, it could have done. Yeah, done. You know, it chose they, not to. They were all very aware that the director could have sent them. Yeah. 
but it didn't. And that was a, it was part of like, okay, well, this is how you turn them against the director. Potentially, you know, yeah. You get into, if, if you want to go down that route. If nothing else, though, Marcy's reacting that way and is going to then wonder why the director didn't choose to save him, possibly rebel against the director because it didn't save him. Like, that opens character doors. That opens up uh, plot yeah. possibilities. That's not a, a mistake. Yeah, no, it was the <laughs> idea that the director looked at the timeline and chose not to. Yes. For and whatever obviously, reason that is you know potentially at that point is beyond our comprehension of like what's coming up yeah in in hindsight now having seen this episode it's clear to me that it probably just didn't matter because no no this has to do it so it's almost like uh, it's almost like it's motivation for them to go back and fix it mailed mailed well it's it's actually not a mail spoiler this is a full-on spoiler for avengers infinity war but i feel like everyone on the planet has seen it by this point but just in case you haven't right this feels very Doctor Strange. There's only one possibility in a billion, you know, 60 billion, whatever it was, that this plays out. And he knew that they all had to lose for the, for the eventual win to come in the next part, right? Yeah. Unless they all troll as an endgame and they all lose again, which would be funny. But <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm with you. Here, yeah. it's, I, th- I think it was, okay, we, we talked about how the director wanted them to think of this plan. And I think for them to go, no, no, this is desperate. It's got to be just, it's got to be personal as well. It's got to be more than just, yeah. you know, just, okay, well, well, we'll do over and save the world. Well, it had to be a personal thing. Marcy had to die. And, and if David's still alive, yeah. Marcy doesn't shoot herself. And if Marcy doesn't shoot herself, are they driven to this extreme last ditch effort? Because it is, it's a last, like, this is. is the only thing exactly. we can do. And I, I don't know if they do. Which is interesting, and it makes me wonder if, if version 2, it's less about changing the rules and more about understanding why it's important to save people and why the human connection there that is important. Like, let's say there's no protocol 5, but there's like more of an honesty kind of approach where, okay, working with the time period was a nice idea, but it started too late. If Do you do that earlier? Do you form bonds? Do you make people care? Um, yeah kind of thing because you know when mac finally tells the fbi dude that you know what, what the future's like and describes everything that happens he looks horrified it looks kind of it looks motivated even to the point where yeah. he's willing to let him talk to the other world leaders to try and fix it and it ultimately doesn't work because you know faction come in and yeah everything. not really his fault though yeah but it looks like you know hey if you'd have been honest from the start and you know pr- you know trying to prove maybe, what you were maybe talking we about we could have done something about this you know maybe that's maybe that's the way but I, I do think the... Because the, another big thing, of course, we've always talked about is that it, the director's always been programmed to allow humans to make the moral choices. And I wonder if this is an extension of that where we go down a path where the director tries to actually almost understand morality in a way that it didn't before. Mm. And yeah. maybe through version one learned more about morality because it's, it saw how... Because maybe this thing at the end here where it intentionally let David die to motivate Marcy, to motivate everything that, you know, happens here yeah. at the end. Is that almost the, the one of the first things it did that almost played on what the, the reactions to a, a human yeah, thing it's, would be? It's, it's almost the idea of sometimes sacrifice is necessary, yeah. right, to, to motivate them in the right way or for whatever other reason. Because... Again, like I said, without Marcy's sacrifice, this this doesn't happen. Yeah, because um, ultimately, if they if they all succeed in a weird way, I mean, not that I necessarily think that whenever it ends eventually, if there's like a hard reset again or whatever. But technically, none of the characters or none of the travelers should exist. They'll be wiped from the t- at least the versions of them that we know that well, came back. I don't know. It's 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 very paradoxical, isn't it? And and I think it's it's always been established that. I don't think they'll just fade from existence. They're, oh, they're no, no, I don't, I don't think that at all. I don't think it's going to affect it. If anything, I think there'll be these weird things where they're, they're left over, but just, just, I'm just I'm bringing this up in the sense that almost for the happy ending, technically our travellers should never exist, or at least not the versions that come back from the future. Yeah, they shouldn't have existed, yet here they are. Right? Yeah, which almost proves that things have to go bad in a weird way to make them exist. Otherwise, we're in a, in a weird loop. Yeah, it's a paradox, and I yeah. think I think it's fine for it to be a paradox to end on. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying it's, it's not necessarily the saddest thing for our travellers to sort of, like, disappear, because theoretically, that's the happy ending, because they've won. I mean, yeah, I just... I, 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 personally, no, I, I'm I don't not saying that. it's satisfying, I'm saying in a cold, logical way... No, I get that, that's but I don't winning. understand how they would disappear. Does the bodies just vanish? No, no, like, no, 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 you're, you're taking this too literal. I don't mean the bodies. I don't mean they're going to vanish from existence like the end of Infinity War. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying 
the an ending like this where technically mac is dead and all the travelers have never came back theoretically if they ever win this could also be the ending kind of right okay where it never happens at all okay and that's honestly a bad thing even though it's kind of sad that our characters never got to have the adventures that we got to see them on because they won but they, but they won they achieved what and that's a sacrifice ultimately them saving the day is kind of ensuring they're never born in a weird way there's almost like a, a sacrificial yeah, thing yeah. already okay. in there i'm with you yeah. right uh, i'm not saying literally that they're going to be like oh i'm fading away like marty mcfly you know yeah, out of yeah. existence um that's not what i mean uh I took. A, I was around the way about to get my to get, to get to my point. I, I took a bit of a detour, but I got there. You did eventually. But yeah, so the idea of sacrifice, I think, is a big thing. Um, yeah. But yeah, so no, very. I'm very interested. Also, I'm very interested. You said this decade's the important one, and if he if he literally means like up to twenty twenty, <laughs> it may not. It may be like twenty fifteen to twenty twenty five. But yeah, that puts us on a clock. <laughs> Like, you know, for the there next is. couple of seasons, if, we, you know, we get more seasons, it's like, not that the show is necessarily running in real time, uh, they could totally... Well, we, we know it hasn't been yeah. anyway, uh, but uh, even if, assuming we do theoretically redo episode one, yeah, that takes us back, you know, to... About a year. 16, I think it was, that when that was. You would assume so. I mean, it was right at the end, I mean, if they tell me that was 2017, without going back and checking, I'll believe them. <laughs> yeah. But, um... Yeah, and that's like, okay, you've got a couple of years in, shows, in the show's time. I mean, that could be 10 seasons for all we know. It doesn't really matter. I mean, a season could be a month. Who cares? Uh, it's what yeah, we I, think, I think it's been, it's been about a year since yeah. the, these three seasons took about a year. Yeah. But there was a jump. There was a jump in there that accounted yeah. for some of that. Um, but uh, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued what they do here. And I feel like if I was to put money on it, I would say the cast come back. Um... I think the most likely one not to come back would be um, McCormick for Mac. I, I don't necessarily think that. I just think if we're going to lose one, it would be him just for the, the yeah. sacrifice of it. But I think he'll be back too. I, I think we'll get the cast back and we'll get an alternate version of events. And we'll pr and I think what that allow them to do is really play with the idea of how things happen differently because of ripple effects. Because we'll see how things happen differently. We'll see different versions of characters. Yeah. Um, and maybe... I, I think for satisfaction reasons, at some point, I think at least one character, maybe Philip is the obvious one, who will start to somehow remember the previous timeline. And he's the one that makes sense, given that he's having weird timeline yeah, things yeah. anyway. Uh, but, you know. But I, I assume they'll make some differences to frustrate us as well. Uh, but hey. Um, and, you know, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe Marcy's Traveller comes back in a different different body and we just no no the real marcy and david are happy and they love and you know yeah, and we could lose they, them theoretically because they've had their happy ending um mm -hmm. but at the same time i want to see more of them definitely um and i want them to remember that he died i want them to remember that pain so they can be happy about the fact that they're both alive will we ever get that i don't know <laughs> but <laughs> i feel like that was an ending for marcy and david it feels like it it feels like it Honestly, like if we come back and they don't come back, I can't, I, I can't be that upset about it because that was a fitting little ending. That you know, at least for David, he's going to get to be happy seemingly. Yeah, and he deserves it because it's it's like what Marcy said when she was when she was crying this episode that he he's kind of the the prime example of why it's worth saving the planet. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure to put on him to to to, to, to carry that weight that he's the the bastion of good good human beings. Um. But I like when she said to, because she, she sort of searched out that Mac, he was a better human being than anyone in this room. And no one tries to fight her on it. No, not one. No. There's no point. No, they all know. Oh, this has been a long one. Makes sense, though. That was a pretty... It does. It does I mean, like, you know, we, we've got it, I mean, about why this this was very good. It was a serious ending. And, um, a serious ending for a lot of implications, for a lot of, you know, possibilities in the future. And if, if there's one thing that's been consistent in this show, we've always um, appreciated the the inventiveness of it playing with its own its own ideas and how it's evolved yeah. over the season so 
But there you go. That that is a that is a season three finale of Travelers. Though, let us know what you think of the the finale and the season as a whole in the comments. Uh, we do encourage discussion, especially now that we're at the end. We can respond a bit more freely and talk about spoilers, all that uh, more in depth. Uh, but that is us. So thank you once again. Get us on patreoncom slash TV if you want to support the show and the channel and everything we do here, and make sure we're still around. If we do get a travel season four, go and support us. But that's it. So thank you once again for watching and listening. We always appreciate it. Keep watching TV, guys. Have you got any vanilla? Thank you.